We begin tonight with a look at the local recovering economy aided this week by the return of summer events. Many of those were postponed or flat out canceled because of the pandemic last year, but that is not the case this year and we are ready to get out and have some fun. Excited about it, yeah. including the Emmett Cherry Festival in Emmett was one of the casualties last year, but this week it is back. The Gem County Chamber of Commerce today telling our Katia Stepovic it's an annual tradition they cannot afford to lose. It's the season of music and fresh to pick cherries. A season that brings thousands of people together and a season that didn't happen last year. And we had zero income. We were actually in the hole at the chamber um, last year. Um, luckily, we had enough reserves to get us through. Um, so that's really good for us this year to be able to have it um, because really the income we get from this is what we can then put out in our community to our businesses. After taking a back seat for the first time in 86 years, the Emmett Cherry Festival is back, returning this Wednesday through Saturday, also returning the some 55,000 people expected to enjoy everything cherry related, try some rides and soak in some good tunes, but with some changes. We still have things that we're going to do. The rides will be deep cleaned um, every so many hours. We're going to have um, hand sanitizer at every single one of the booths. We'll have masks available at the chamber booth for people who want to wear a mask. As for other festivals like National Old Time Fiddlers Contest in Weezer, coming back in full force isn't the route they're taking yet. Sandy Cooper, executive director of the festival, says over 170 competitors will still jam out, but only them, their friends and family, and VIP ticket holders will be allowed in the event. General admission tickets are not available. When we weighed what additional income having our general admission uh, folks there versus the uh, ex exponential uh, increase in our expenses, we decided to hold off another year. And it was so late in the day, you know, in the year to advertise, you know, and let everybody know that and for people to make the changes that they needed to make in order to be here. So. Cooper says the festival usually brings in a gross income around $200,000 to $250,000 each year. But this year, she expects that to be down 30%. Still, she says a decrease in festival goers is better than no festival at all. The folks here in our community and the fiddle contestants who uh, work very, very hard to get where they are uh, to the level that they are, I think it was really imperative that we found a way to hold a contest because if we don't, uh, I feel like we'd be letting everyone down, um, including in our community. It's needed. We're to the point where, you know, it's needed to get out, um, have a good time with our friends and family, um, you know, still be precautious because COVID is still here. We still need to, you know, realize that yeah, uh, someone could be carrying it, but no, just to come and have a good time. Now I reached out to Idaho Commerce to get their thoughts on these many festivals returning back to Idaho and here's what they had to say. They said in a statement in part, events returning like the Emmett Cherry Festival, the Weezer Fiddle Festival, and the North Fork Championship in Crouch, among other events like rodeos, concerts, and parades, bring important visitor spending to Idaho small businesses. Beyond the economic impact, these events are a source of community pride and an opportunity to showcase historical places, cultural activities and exceptional culinary experiences throughout Idaho. Now just being on this center right here out in Emmett, you could tell that people are so excited just to get their hands on some fresh cherries, enjoy the live music and enjoy being around each other. It's something we've all missed and I've definitely missed myself. So Mark and Kim, if you're looking around Wednesday wondering where's Katia, why isn't she at work? Well, here's a good <laughs> clue for you. <laughs> You're going to be right there on that uh, blow up or that ride behind you. I know and eating cherry pie. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So many acts being booked at like the Ford Idaho yeah. Center, Extra Mile Arena, Idaho Botanical Garden and so many others. Western Idaho Fair slogan this year. What's that? 
We're going to party like it's 2019. <laughs> yes. yes, I love that. Whoever came up with that, that's a great idea. I, and we, we do feel like we are partying like it's 2019. Yeah, we do. All right, Katia Stepvic reporting <laughs> live for us tonight. Katia, thank you.